he's a Medicare specialist and he knows all about Florida blue also. And he probably knows a good bit about the, um, medical, uh, benefits of the villages also what, what's good, what's bad. He'll be glad to answer any of your questions. So without further ado, let's bring Craig in here. Well, hello there. Hi, Craig. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Melody, nice to meet you. I haven't met you yet, so uh, happy, happy Wednesday uh, here on Wednesday Night Live. This is my first experience, so uh, awesome. glad, glad to be here. I was uh, spending the whole day down in your beautiful hometown uh, today, and uh, they're getting ready. The Village's Health is getting ready to open up their ambulatory care center uh gosh it's about 280,000 square feet it's a uh, it's the tallest building in the villages now they're going to do a soft opening in brownwood on monday so uh a lot lot going on in healthcare in the villages these days now i don't really keep up with all the stuff going on around here but okay. ambulatory care center where's that at uh it's in brownwood um so Gosh, I don't have the exact address, but uh, because it's such a it's a tall building, so it's been going up for for quite quite a few months. And is that, uh, that the emergency hospital? Well, the emer the standalone they have a standalone emergency room, but then this is a totally separate entity. Uh, there's a hotel right next to it. Um, they're actually going to have ten tenants there. So not only will the village's health be there, but you're going to be able to uh, access up to 15 different specialists, medical specialists. There's going to be a pharmacy in there. Um, Wolfgang Puck, uh, uh, oh. a few other amenities. But one of the biggest things that they're really jazzed about is the third, only the third uh, entity in the whole world is going to be having a 20 person hyperbaric chamber. Uh, so a hyperbaric chamber has been used for a lot of different things. Uh, initially used for the when divers, scuba divers get the bends, uh, but now it's being used for wound healing, uh, advancing you know the, the body's ability to heal. Um, as well as now some people are saying because it's in the villages, it's going to reverse um, the aging process. <laughs> so, wow! I, I don't. They're not touting that, but you know how the rumor mill starts. So. Yeah, I started <laughs> I, in the villages. <laughs> I, I, start, I started that rumor. It's called a facelift <laughs> hospital. So, needless to say, they have about ten thousand people on their waiting list, and it's a cash pay only service. So, wow. we'll see Thus, how that goes. Thus, facelift. <laughs> insurance for <laughs> <away> for facelift. <laughs> In oh, insurance. Do what? I said, do they really have 10,000 people waiting? Yes. Yes. Wow. They get 10,000. 10, like I say, it's one of three in the entire world. Um, they oh. actually they shipped it in from uh, Israel. Uh, that's where the technology was uh, put together. And uh, yeah, they've got uh, they've got ten thousand. It's very similar to what happened probably ten years ago in Jacksonville when the University of Florida and Chan started their. Um, yeah, I see. University of Florida and Chan started the Proton Therapy uh, Institute. That's a uh, a cancer treatment that if you've got cancer in a certain area that's adjacent to another organ that uh, maybe chemo or radiation would affect uh, that organ uh, adversely. Uh, this is a pinpoint delivery of radiation. So they had a huge waiting list as well for this, you know, technology and cutting edge type treatment. So, wow. Facelift. Yeah. yeah. Ten and eight. <laughs> yeah. You go over here, you get a facelift. You go to the hot. You go to the hotel to recover in privacy, so nobody will know. And then Wolfgang right. Puck is next door to be able to bring you your food. That's right. So you the hotel's the hotel's open, by the way. I was down there the other day doing video, which I haven't posted any of it yet. But there was yeah. people in the hotel pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot uh, things are starting to come back. I was in uh, a couple of the uh, care centers there for the villages' health and. 
they're starting to take on more and more patients uh, as time goes on. So they're everybody's getting getting back. Um, I was in uh, where was I? I left right before uh, any sort of the town square activity might occur, <laughs> whether it's legit or not. But it yeah. did seem like quite a few people are out today. So. Okay. Let me ask you, I got a Medicare question. I'm already on Medicare and I really doesn't make any difference what my question is anymore, really. But I had this constant argument with my doctors all the time and they just kind of shrugged their shoulder and say, you know, well, you know, that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Am I not correct in saying that any medical office of any kind, doctor, hospital, whatever, if they accept Medicare, they sign an agreement with Medicare saying they will accept Medicare as payment in full, whatever that payment is. Okay, so that that's where closer to home, meaning the villages and specifically the villages health system, that's where things are not uh, the way that you describe them. Uh, for primary care, uh, so, you know, a, a non-specialist, they only take Medicare Advantage plans from one of two insurance companies. One is United Healthcare, and the other one is Florida Blue. Now, United Health has been around pretty much since 2016 under the new guidelines and rules that they have. And Florida Blue is actually brand new. Uh, this is the first year that Florida Blue has been accepted by. So. If you're just looking for your primary care needs, um, you you do not you would not be able to just use your red, white, and blue card. Uh, but if you did need specialists or something like that, then yes, uh, anybody should take that. But uh, yeah, so I'd say ninety five percent of the doctors in the country take it, um, but the Villages Health does not at this particular time. You would have to have a Medicare Advantage plan. Well, then my follow-up question is, is if they sign an agreement with Medicare stating that they will take Medicare as payment in full, whatever that payment is, mm -hmm. then why does anybody need supplemental? Okay. So that's where we all pick apart your in full. We'll, we'll concentrate on in full. Uh, for the most part, they will pay 80%. So it's like an 80-20 plan when you have Part A and Part B of Medicare. Got to remember Part A is typically free of charge, no premium, if you've worked up to 40 quarters in your lifetime. And, you know, by the time you get to retirement age, typically you've met that, you know, maybe two times. Um, part B, which is more for the physicians, is a premium that is charged to everybody okay and that's 144 dollars and 60 cents for 2020 however if you make over eighty-five thousand dollars a year you get what they call an irma adjustment and that's not the hurricane that's just uh you know it's hanging around that's that's a, a special assessment so so a and b your card your red white and blue card will get you an 80 20 plan so the reason why somebody would want to get either a supplement, which is oftentimes called Medigap, or a Medi Medicare Advantage plan is to cover at least all of or a portion of the 20 that Medicare would not. So when the in full is the one that, you know, when they say Medicare will pay in full, well, they'll, they'll pay up to 80%. See, all this to me is, um, this seems, I mean, I'm sorry. It just seems like a money grab to me. I, if they sign a thing saying that Medicare is paid, and we accept that as payment in full. Uh -huh. To me, that means here's my Medicare card. Do what you got to do. I'm out of here. Done. Then I have to supplemental to cover the extra cost, apparently, that Medicare doesn't cover. And... Even at that, supplemental doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to take care of all of that either because you go in to the medical stores or you buy medicine, and I haven't had this problem. I've got Advantage, and so far I have paid zero zip, nothing, for. but I'm healthy. I don't really have any problems. 
Right. But I've seen people go in and they go to get this medicine and it's like a hundred dollar copay and they're on right. Medi Medicare. Right. So, you know, so when we break down health care coverage uh, for a senior, anybody over 65 or actually anybody who's been on Social Security disability for two years, regardless of age, they're medic Medicare eligible. Now, the health side of what we've been talking about is covered by Part A, Part B, and then whether or not you choose to get a supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan. The drugs or medications, the prescriptions that your doctor uh, writes for you are under a totally different uh, scenario. Um, at best, you're going to get a copay on your prescription based on how it's classified. So they have a fancy term called a formulary, and it's nothing more than like an old Sears catalog where you'd look up whatever your drug is, whatever tier it is, and then you will pay a typically a flat copay for it. Now, Skip, with you being, you know, a healthy guy, even if you do have some medications, some of those medications may be classified as what we call a tier zero or a tier one or a tier six, all of which come to you at no cost. So you're fortunate enough that even though you might have a, a few maladies here and there that might need prescriptions, that they fall into a category where you, you do not have to pay for them. The person that you are next to in line that had to pay a hundred dollars is probably on some advanced medication that is costing probably somewhere in the neighborhood of $500, but they're only paying 100 for it. And that's something that I do when I counsel a client as a, as a senior advocate is I will sit down and the things that I always ask are, what are you looking for? Most of them don't know. So we start from ground zero. And then I always ask them for their physicians. If they have any problem with, you know, not leaving their physician, if that's somebody they can't live without, I want to make sure obviously the plan, uh, you know, supports that. And then most importantly for, I'd say a majority of people is I ask them for a list of their medications. And then I have a model that I plug that into and I can tell them almost to the penny how much that's going to cost um, throughout the year. Um, Barry's got a question. He, he says, uh, Skip, please ask him about TRICARE for life at Villages Health. Okay. That's a great question, Barry. And first of all, thank you for serving. Uh, TRICARE for life is actually a benefit that has been given to our veterans. Uh, for their service in defense of our country. And it actually, the TRICARE for Life, a lot of agents, including myself years ago, just kind of put up our hands and said, oh, you're covered, you're okay, you're good to go. And uh, we have since realized that because of the village's health and others who may not take TRICARE, that a Medicare Advantage plan may work well with both the TRICARE and whatever carrier you want. So in other words, I would never have anybody give up TRICARE for life. It's probably one of the best health insurance policies that's ever been issued. And yes, it is associated with the US government, but it, they did a really good job with it. So how does that affect Barry in regards to his ability to see a primary care physician in the villages? Well, Barry, what you would do is you would get a Medicare Advantage plan that would kind of go, you know, hand in glove with the TRICARE for Life. Now, remember, your Medicare Advantage plans in the villages, if you want to see villages health physicians, is a zero premium and typically a zero copay for a primary care physician. So really what you're doing, it's really semantics. You're keeping your TRICARE for life as far as the, the uh, benefits of that, but you're able to see a village's health practitioner because you have a Medicare Advantage plan. And that's something, again, that either myself or a licensed agent 
uh, with either United Health or Florida Blue can can sit down with you and coordinate. Okay, um, I'm just going to shoot this one off the wall because my wife has Florida Blue. There's a specific mm -hmm. reason why she's got Florida Blue instead of the so-called, if there is such a thing, standard supplementals. You know, everybody's always saying, what's the best supplemental? I don't okay. know. You know, it's all right. complicated to me. But do you think that Florida Blue as a supplemental mm -hmm. is better than, let's say, I don't even know what the standard supplemental is. Let's say something you can get off of AAA or AA or whatever the hell. They're all over the place. Is that is that a, a better supplemental to go with, say, your medical? You know, when we get into the su so the supplemental discussion, um, really, there is not a lot of difference other than price in regards to the premium that you pay per month for a supplemental. Because remember, the definition of a supplemental as far as coverage, with the exception of somebody like the Village's Health, is that you should be able to go anywhere and get service. In other words, you pay that premium. It's a it's a pay in advance. It's uh, very similar to what you do with your homeowner's insurance, what you do with your vehicle insurance. You're going to pay. Whoa, that whoa, whoa, whoa! We got to stop the show right here. Laura <laughs> Lamp. <laughs> Laura Lamp, fifteen dollars super chat. I appreciate it, Laura. And Barbara Ooh. Ebner, a five dollars super chat. Thank you, Barbara. We appreciate every everything you got. This money goes to support this channel, and that's what buys all of our giveaway stuff we give away. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Back to you, Craig. Okay. So a supplement, in, in short, is, you know, it, it doesn't – it's kind of like a uh, an insurance card where it doesn't matter what name's on it. I mean, as far as what company. Uh, because it should be accepted by anybody in the country that takes – uh, your red, white, and blue Medicare card, you pay it in advance. So if you're really healthy, that premium, you know, a lot of people complain, you know, in paying homeowners or vehicle insurance. Well, darn, I haven't had a claim ever, and I'm a safe driver and, and all this. Well, that's the nature of insurance. You're, you're paying for the what if. So there's, from a supplemental perspective, um, there is no real difference in the, in the carrier that you choose. That's totally different when you get to Medicare Advantage because Medicare Advantage and you're talking not only about premium, but then you're talking about co-pays. You're talking about the formulary for the drugs. Uh, and then big, a big thing is your provider network. You know, who can you see? Because typically when you get a Medicare Advantage, you are limited. Now, in the case of Florida Blue, we're a 75-year-old company based and homegrown in Florida. So our network tends to be big just because of the fact that we are a Florida company. So, you know, if, if you have to go to a, a tertiary care facility like Chan's in Gainesville, UF Health, or if you have to go to Moffitt in uh, Tampa for cancer treatment, we're one of the only ones that offer that. Um, again, for the same premium that somebody else might charge, but our provider network's a little bigger. Then you get into ancillary benefits, hearing, dental, vision, uh, silver sneakers, uh, which you know we support the, the MVP and the 24-7 uh, Anytime Fitness and, and all those. So with an active community like the Villages, uh, and the village's health, who, who try to promote healthy activity, um, you know, those ancillary benefits may very well be attractive to somebody and sway them one way or another. But to answer your question, the supplement, it really, it's, it's probably just a, a price thing. It's almost like gasoline. You know, you go around town and, you know, you buy the cheapest per gallon, really. Well, I'll tell you one of the reasons why Sue got uh, Florida Blue because uh, she has to have a special treatment uh, on a regular basis mm -hmm. that which nobody seems around here knows what it is. But trust me when I tell you, we know what it is. We kept falling in a donut hole. And with Florida mm -hmm. Blue, mm -hmm. we still get in the donut hole. But by the way they do things, it's just spread out over the year with the okay. payment. So we really never okay. fall into it. And that's really just the way we'd rather do it. And the fact is, that I'm in the village's healthcare system, which I had my idea of what that was. Uh -huh. Apparently, I'm, I'm totally wrong about that because 
Sue's doctors on the outside of the villages, but they send her in the villages all the time to have certain tests and things done. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that, that does happen quite a bit. And with this, uh, the opening of this new facility, um, obviously that's going to have be happening even more. Um, people might just be going to that facility to get specialty care um, and then find out about the village's health and realize that they have, you know, what they call a comprehensive care. So, for instance, if somebody, you know, as we age, and I'll include myself in that comment, you know, sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the things that are going on. And if you stay within the same system, at least with the village's health, everybody has access to your electronic health record. So there is a continuum of care uh, that, that is not necessarily offered elsewhere. Now, I'm not knocking anybody in the medical profession, but sometimes it's a pain in the rear end to get medical records and things of that nature. And sometimes you just yes. Take, yes. <laughs> you just take the word of the patient. And that's, you know, sometimes great. But, you know, when it comes down to test results and x-rays and bone scans and, and all that intricate stuff, it's, it's nice to have the actual record there to make your decision as a medical professional rather than guessing. And uh, so that is one thing they have going for them. I have another question here from Keith Stone. I don't understand it, but you being the expert, it says, uh, Skip, would you ask Craig how Eloquus would be paid for on the tiers plan D? <laughs> okay. So what you have to keep in mind is this is something that I didn't quite get in the weeds about, but with a supplement, okay? So we have either a supplement, you know, you can keep part A and B, or you can get a supplement, which is sometimes called Medigap, or a Medicare Advantage plan. With the Medicare Advantage plan, the drug plan is inclusive. So anything you pay, you know, even though it's the zero premium, you don't pay anything, it's inclusive and you go to that tier copay structure. On a supplement though, however, you have to buy an additional drug plan because it does not have one in it. So it would be hard for me to answer Keith's question. Good question, by the way, Keith, um, because there are so many different Part D plans. So in other words, um, almost like you have a variety of supplemental carriers and Medicare Advantage carriers, you have a variety of Part D uh, drug plan. Eloquis is one of the newer drugs that is actually receiving some rave reviews as far as its effectiveness, but the downside to that is that it is quite expensive. So what I can do for Keith, if he's willing, is if he reaches out to me, I can look at a number of different plans, the ones that are the best suited for him. And to be honest with you, uh, those aren't always Florida Blue. Okay, so when it comes to the Medicare Advantage, when it comes to the supplement, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable in my own skin with Florida Blue. When it comes to the Part D plans, though, I do find that there are some others that are much more attractive. And my way of doing business is to be an advocate to the patient or client first, the company second. So, yeah, I'd be more than happy to give him a range of prices. You know, there's well care, there's express scripts, there's all kinds of Part D plans. And so, in essence, you could have like a United Health or Florida Blue uh, supplement and a well care, CVS, Walgreens, Part D. Uh, so, they're, they're going to be two policies anyway. And um, I could find out Eloquis. Uh, mm -hmm. I could give him prices if he wanted them. Uh, of which, well, at the at the end of the stream, we're we'll, we're going to put up your um, or you're going to give him an email or, or some contact information in case they want to talk to you further. Sure. Um, sure. And you ha well, we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, there's another one here, Mary Mary Ann Lactirio. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Is the advanced healthcare center specifically for same day surgery? I don't know. 
Okay. Um, Marianne, great. Again, great question. Um, it's the, that is going to be one of the uh, benefits, uh, one of the services that's going to be extended there. Um, they, they're calling it a zero bed hospital which tends to lend itself to the fact that those same day surgeries that don't require in hospital admission for recovery or anything else. Yes, they will be doing those. But in addition to that, you're going to have, you know, anything, you know, there's going to be eye care there. There's going to be a cardiology uh, person there. There's uh, you know, like I said, there's, there's going to be that hyperbaric chamber. There's going to be 10, specialties actually represented there. The thing about it is the village's health is just one of 10 tenants. So for the most part, you know, it's going to be village's health practitioners there. Their specialists are going to move across the street from their Brownwood facility over to the new uh, ambulatory care center. Um, but yeah, same day surgeries will be done there, but there'll be a lot of other things, you know, just your regular optometry visits, uh, you know, your cardiology care, you know, like I say, there's about 10 specialties that, that will be administered there. Yeah, Melody, you go down there and get your hip fixed next time you fall off your stripper pole. <sighs> Again, I've never been near a stripper pole. Uh, never yeah. hurt my hip. Yeah. This <laughs> You think I'm bad now? This is another show. Blue. What? I do have Florida Blue, and I have to say, yeah. Yeah. I was really impressed with at the beginning of the pandemic, they called me to uh, see how I was doing. They let me know that they have tele doctors. Yep. And yep. then it was completely free during the pandemic. If I wanted to use the tele doctor, they wanted to make sure I knew how to do it. And there's an app on the phone, and they were very, very helpful. Well, good. Uh, Melody, may I ask, are you under 65? Yes, I am. I do uh, not have I, Medicare. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I think that, that's one of the toughest things as an agent I find myself doing is uh, I also do things like life insurance and things like that. But asking a woman her height and weight, whether she's pregnant and her age. Those are the that, that, that I always have to ask. And it's always, always kind of, you know, uh, uncomfortable but anyway were you i also want to extend to you that um they do have a, a healthy rewards program um that they've had for a while but because of this pandemic they've kind of uh turned up the heat on and you can get some money back uh to do whatever you want with uh for things like just reading an article uh walking yeah, I, you know, I think i got that last year Okay, well, good. I, I, I think they did send me some money or something. Good. I don't know what it was for. I just, okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's just some walking around money maybe, but uh, that is something that we, we have really turned it up, you know, the notch because, you know, people are having a little trouble paying premiums. We've also extended our deadlines from 30 days to 90 days and things like that. So we do, you know, we, we are a company who's for profit. There's no, no, getting around that, but we're also understanding that we're part of the community too. And, so. and it's very affordable because I'm self-employed. I do YouTube for a living. And um, so I don't have any company paying parts or anything. I just right. pay for it. And I was really impressed with the parts too. And Good. Good. I was so happy with them. Well, we got another question. Again. Yes, sir. Got another question from Ann Thiel. It's a pretty good one, I think. Um, what insurance companies do you recommend, I assume she means here in Florida, for younger villagers who do not qualify for Medicare yet? We'll be moving from Minnesota soon. We'll be glad I to see you down here. I would recommend Florida Blue. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have. Well, well, thank you, Melody. We appreciate that. Um, so, Anne, uh, falling into the category of being under 65, uh, you clear one of the hurdles for what we call the marketplace insurance. Now, the marketplace has gotten a lot of you know, good feedback, some bad feedback, but there's also some misunderstandings that go along with marketplace. With the marketplace, you don't get any different policy than anybody else would. So one of the things the marketplace does is gives you a subsidy if you qualify for it. And the way to qualify for a marketplace subsidy or a credit 
is based on your household and your income size. So for instance, I'm just going to, you know, go out on a flyer here and say that you're married. So you have a household of two. If you made less or will make less than $67,000 in 2020, you're going to qualify for a subsidy, which means, again, you're going to get the same policy that somebody paying the full price, the full premium month in and month out gets, but you're going to get a discount because the government is going to pay for part of your premium. So I would say probably the best thing to do is to contact, again, a licensed agent. Uh, Florida Blue happens to be probably the largest um, as far as the number of counties we're in. There are some counties where we're the only game in town for under 65 because a lot of the insurance companies headed out of town about, well, it was a couple of years after the marketplace. They could not become profitable and they left. So that left us. We, we hung in there. We stayed where we are. So you're going to find probably that it's uh, a, a Florida blue uh, product that you're going to be offered. But unlike Medicare Advantage and the supplement, you're going to have literally dozens of choices. Where the agent comes into play is they ask some pretty specific questions about your medical history and how you use insurance. And then they'll make a recommendation on a plan and let you look at three or four. And we just kind of whittle it down until we're both comfortable. Laura Lamp says, last November, I had to help my 90-year-old dad pick a Part D drug plan. I don't know what state he's in. I can only assume they mean Florida. Or does it make a difference? I don't know. I mean, Laura says, help me if I have to do that again this year. So apparently that's a problem? Uh, not necessarily, unless, the, 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 unless they abandon the particular plan. If that carrier, that insurance company, abandons the plan, they'll be forced to choose another one. But like most uh, every health insurance policy, uh, a renewal is usually automatic. Um, so unless you make a voluntary effort to notify them different, uh, that drug plan that they have currently, the Part D plan, will renew. Now, I will tell you, it's always good to check and see if any of the you know, benefits have changed or if any of the prices have changed or things like that. She doesn't have to start the process all over from square one. She doesn't have to reinvent the wheel or build a better mousetrap. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, Lily Beasley says, you got to have Medicare A and B in order to have TRICARE for life. Right, right. So it, in order for you to have any sort of what they call supplemental or secondary insurance in the Medicare world, yes, you do have to have Part A and Part B. And just to review that, Part A is typically free. Uh, Part B will cost you a minimum of $144.60 per month. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could go on these questions all night, but I don't want this show to last three hours, and we're already in it for just an hour. So, Craig, I do appreciate sure. you stopping by and answering some of these questions. I knew it was going to be a hot topic. Um, my reminder is, how can people contact you the best way? The best way to contact me, I still do things the old-fashioned way. Um, so the best thing to do is just to pick up the phone and give me a call. Uh, have your calendar in hand so that we can schedule a time to get together. Obviously, with this pandemic, um, mm -hmm. I've been a little bit more flexible than I've ever been before um, in being able to meet on, you know, things like StreamYard and Zoom and, and that sort of thing. I also know that technology sometimes is a little difficult for people, but um, we are opening our office up again on Monday. Now, I'm physically located in Lake Sumter Landing at the Creekside Health Center, uh, the Village's Health. They call that the Health Insurance Resource Center, or HERC. It's uh, 1050 Old Camp Road. And so we're there from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if you want to, I always encourage calling ahead and uh, setting an appointment uh, because I hate to have people wait if they just walk in, but we do accept walk-ins. So mm -hmm. my direct line, my phone number is, of course, area code 
502-317-8992. And I'm the one that will pick up or you'll get my voicemail. Um, and please leave a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Just remember, calling me does not commit you to anything, okay? Um, mm -hmm. It's a no obligation, no cost conversation. You can call me as many times as you want. In fact, you know, I'll head you in a different direction if I don't think I have a fit for you and continue to support that decision, you know, into the, into the plan year. So, you know, keep that in mind. Well, Craig, I can't thank you enough for stopping by and answering a few of these questions. And hopefully in the future, we can have you back again to answer maybe a few more. Yeah, be great. I learned a lot. <laughs> okay, Craig, thanks for stopping thanks by. Lot. And you have a great evening, okay? You too, Skip. Bye, Melody. Bye. Oh, you seem like a nice guy. Yeah.